By the end of this video, you'll know how to get a great sounding guitar recording by simply connecting your electric guitar directly to your interface. Instead of using a guitar amp and a microphone, we're going to be using amp modeling plugins. We accomplish a few things by using a plugin rather than recording a real amplifier. First of all, it's a lot quieter, so you can produce music whenever you want without your neighbors complaining about the noise. Connecting directly to your interface also means that you won't need to worry about noisy amps or leakage from other instruments like drums in the same room. And on top of all of that, the flexibility that comes with using virtual pedals, amp heads, and speakers makes the process of recording guitar and finding the right tone easier and even more fun. Throughout the video, I'll be sharing some of my favorite plugins and tools with you, so I'll leave links to everything I use in this video in the show notes below. First, you'll need to download a guitar amp plugin. If you're on a budget, I'd recommend Waves GTR3. It's often on sale, and I've seen it as low as $30. You'll get a good collection of amp presets and pedals at an amazing price. I've been really impressed by IK Multimedia's Amplitube. The amp modeling is very realistic, and the combinations of pedals, amps, speaker cabinets, microphones, and microphone placements are endless. Once you've got the plugin installed on your computer, you'll just open up your DAW, create a track for the guitar, and set up the plugin as an insert on that track. I'm going to use Amplitube. Next, it's time to connect your guitar to your DAW. To do that, I'll need a quarter inch instrument cable and an audio interface. I'll be using the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. I'll connect the guitar to input one and set the input to instrument mode. In my DAW, I'll configure the input of the guitar track to be input one, and I'll engage the record arm button on that track. Now I see some activity on the meters of that track. I'm going to play the guitar as loud as I plan to play in the recording and set the preamp knob on my interface until the meter in the DAW peaks at no more than minus 12 dB full scale. You may already be able to hear your guitar through the speakers at this point, but if not, just make sure that the input monitoring button is turned on on the guitar track. In this case, I'm experiencing a lot of latency when I strum my guitar. Latency is the delay between the input to the interface and that same signal reaching the output of your interface between when I strum my guitar and when I hear that guitar in my headphones. The reason I'm experiencing this latency or delay is because the buffer size on my interface is set too high. There's a balance between latency and processing power when it comes to setting your buffer size. A higher buffer size means more processing power, but higher latency, and a smaller buffer size means less latency, but also less processing power. So turning it too low can cause problems and glitches. I'm going to set my buffer size to 64, but you should just choose the lowest number that your computer can handle without errors. With the buffer size set lower, there will be less latency and it should be more comfortable to play. Before we record, let's roughly set up the amp plugin for the sound that we're going for. Keep in mind that the recording itself will be clean and nothing you do in this plugin right now is permanent. I'm going to use this amp within Amplitube and I'll also set up a simple pedal board. Now I can just press record and start playing. After getting a good take, I can turn off the input monitoring and listen back to the recording. It sounds pretty good, but there are some things that I'd like to change. All I need to do is open up the amp plugin and start turning the knobs. The changes will happen in real time. I can swap out pedals, speakers, or move the microphone positioning until I find the sound I'm looking for. To learn more about recording guitar, watch one of the videos that's on your screen now. I'll see you there.